I hate them. It's, it might be a little messy, so... Um... They loved you. I mean, how could they love you? They, they hardly know you. I know how they love you. Because you have a penis. You That's not... all that they care about. It's messy, I'll just... Do you know how long it was before I was allowed to stay there with my female lovers, hmm? Do you? No. Never. They never let me. I mean, they never came right out and said, Rose, as long as you're a duck, you're not allowed to stay here. But Jesus, they may as well have. God. Yeah. They offered to let us stay in their room. They said, I'm surprised my mother didn't just loan me her vibrator or something. Okay, Rose, yeah. I'm, I'm uncomfortable with this conversation. Is going. I'm sorry. It just gets me so... I just... Pissed. I'm hungry. Oh, do you have any chips? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, God. My first Christmas with Renee, we decided to spend it with my parents. They got gifts for everybody. Everyone except for Renee. My, my brother's girlfriend, she got a gift. My Aunt Joyce got a gift. Nana's dog got a gift, but they didn't get one for Renee. Jesus, that is so shitty. You know, I'm surprised that my mother didn't give you some of her gifts to make up for all the birthdays of yours that she missed, huh? Oh, I really like that pink outfit you got. Oh, come on, Anthony, this is serious. I mean, right. and them pressuring you about marriage. It was that fine. That was inappropriate. It was okay. My father's chair, he never lets anyone sit no in that chair. No big deal, okay? I'm just, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I, I had no idea Rose, they could Rose, be so Rose, ridiculous. It was okay, all right? It was funny, actually. I mean, funny in a pathetic kind of way, not funny in a funny way. But look, if you want to talk about it because it upset you, fine. Right? But I'm okay about it. You know, you're amazing. No, I'm not, not really. Yeah, you always say the right things. Well, I mean, my motivations aren't exactly selfless, you know. What do you mean? Well, I mean, look, here we are. You and me and my little love pad. You're in this sexy black number that's been driving me crazy all day. Mm -hmm. I have more important things on my mind than your parents. So, what was it about me that made you switch? You didn't switch anything. I've been like this my entire life. Oh. Mm -hmm. Your whole life? Yeah. Wow. It's a long time. A lifetime. You okay? No, me. I'm great. No, I've never been better. I'm just thinking. That's all. About? About... What it must be like to... to like a guy. <laughs> Wait, you have never had a crush on a guy. Honey, I'm straight, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know you're straight, but you can't lie here next to me and tell me you have never thought a male was attractive. Never. Uh, all right, what about growing up? Was there ever, like, um, you know, some friend you looked up to that, you know, looking back now, you might actually have had a crush on? Nope. No. You don't like the, the men's bodies that you play ball with? Oh, stop it. I, I can't believe you've never found any man attractive. Never, never. Okay. What about movies? There must be some movie star that you think... Of. No. That's it! No, movies! No, no. Who is it? Come on, tell me who you think is hot. Fine, fine. Oh. Okay, but first of all, I never said hot. Okay. But, I mean, just you and me here, I, I, I have to admit that Wesley Snipes, he's got a... I don't know, he's got a kind of like... A, He's got some kind of, his, 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 fuck it, all right, he's hot. Uh, all right, but I mean, I, I wouldn't want to do him. God. Did that kill you? Is this what they mean by converting us? No, it's not called conversion, it's introspection. <laughs> you know, I love you so much. So you say, but, uh... I'm uncomfortable dating a fag. <laughs> oh, see, I knew I should have never told you. You're never gonna let me live this down. Move in with me. What? You heard me. I mean, I know we've only known each other a short time, but I love you. And I don't know. It's like we're living together already anyway. I mean, we've never spent a night apart. Let's do it. I, I, I can't. All right, forget, never mind, I'm, I just feel... No, 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 will you let me deal? finish? No, it's okay, let it's me okay. Finish. I can't believe that someone would actually want to live with me.
Tony, you're not worried about what your parents are going to think about all this? I mean, but you don't really plan to tell them, you know, that that room being gay, do you? I'm telling you, Chris, it doesn't even matter. I, I feel so amazing, it's scary, okay? If I could bottle this feeling, I'd be a millionaire. Nothing in the world could upset me right now. Nothing. Hello? How the hell did you get in here? Anthony gave me a key a few years ago. Where is he? I need to talk to him. Well, we really have nothing to say to you. I don't need to talk to you, so if you don't mind, Anthony and myself would like to be alone. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're kicking him out of my apartment? Yes. Smith, I can't we believe you We need to talk. Whatever you have to say, you can say in front of Chris here. He's, he's my best friend. I really would be more comfortable if he wasn't here. Well, he doesn't care if you're comfortable or not, Samantha. Isn't that wonderful? See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That attitude. It's because of him that we broke up. And now, it's because of him that we're not back together again. Oh, listen, Princess Caribou. Tony... Wait, 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 wait. What did you say? He's keeping us apart. You're wasting your breath, Samantha. Tony doesn't Could care. Could you um, possibly just give us a few minutes alone? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You heard him. And Scray. Just for a few minutes. So, your infantile friend called me the other night. Again? Yes, he told me that you're moving in with the lesbian. Her name is Rose, okay? Oh, please, you can do better than that. There is no one better than Rose. Come now. Not even me? You used to tell me how you'd never fall in love with anyone else. That uh, you'd live alone forever. Does that make you happy? I don't get you. Knowing I was miserable, did that satisfy you? No, that didn't make me happy. God, what kind of person do you think I am? <sighs> you know, you've been listening to Chris for too long. He's poisoned you, you know that? Between me and you, I think he's gay himself. Mm -hmm. He wants you. Look, he's never had a girlfriend, and, I mean, he's just always so protective over you. The way a girlfriend is. Is that Samantha's car in the parking lot? Yes. What the hell is she doing back? Don't tell me that Rose is out. Not she... yet, but Sam is working on it. What the hell did you leave them alone for? What am I supposed to do, refuse to leave? It wouldn't have been the first time. Well, look, it's time Tony starts to fight its own battles. Right, Mark? Um, Chris, I was wondering if you could sort of do me a favor. Sure. What? Well, I sort of don't want to be called Mark. But that's your name. I know, but Mark is kind of corny, and I kind of want to change my image. You don't have an image to change. I'm not getting into it with you again. You're simple. Chris will understand, right, G? Yeah, whatever. Look, what's your new name? Smooth. I'm not selfish like Chris. I want what's good for you. Oh, and what's good for me is to be in love with you, even though you want nothing to do with me, right? <laughs> At least I like men. You have a shot with me. Rose likes men. Does she? Yes. And what does she call herself? A lesbian. Uh-huh. And lesbians like women. Well, she likes me. You're a toy, a fantasy. Soon the novelty will wear off, and she'll run off into the arms of one of her dyke friends. And you'll be left alone, again, without an apartment. Look, I know she loves me. Maybe she's bisexual. Oh, that's even worse. Why? Do you love her? Yeah. And do you want to share the woman you love? Share? Mm-hmm, share. That's what you'll have to do, you know, share her with some woman. How are you going to feel when your wonderful Rose kisses you goodbye on Saturday night on her way off on a date with another woman? What's it going to do to you inside while you're waiting up for her and she's making love to a lesbian? Are you going to be okay with that? Having someone else hold her? Just because she says she's bisexual doesn't mean oh, she Oh, needs... wake up, Anthony. Bisexual. Bi. Both. Bisexuals need both to be satisfied. It's all in the name.